Good morning, I'm Staff Sergeant Kimball. I'm with the North Carolina National Guard, and I represent all the high schools in Henderson, Transylvania, and Polk County. My job is to get information out to students just like yourself about our college and career benefits. Now, because school is entirely virtual and there's been a lot of changes in 2020, I'm gonna get that information to you via this video. We're gonna cover a couple of things. It's going to cover eligibility, job opportunities, and college benefits. And as always, if you guys have questions, please reach out to me. Okay, so we're gonna start off by talking about the military overall. This is something I like to do with my students and soldiers because there's not a bad branch, but each branch does a very different thing. We have the Army, the Marines, the Air Force, the Navy, and now the Space Force. Each of them have a different mission. The North Carolina National Guard is different than those branches, and it's different because we are the only state military that exists. Now, with any of those branches, you're going to have active duty and reserve. So what's the difference? Active duty is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That is what you're doing. Reserves is one Saturday and one Sunday a month and two weeks in the summer. So you can find a Navy Reserve, an Air Force Reserve, Marine Reserve, and Space Force is not quite there yet. But the North Carolina National Guard is a reserve component. And the reason that we're a reserve component is that we have a dual mission. Our primary mission is to help with any natural disasters, hurricanes, or emergencies that happen within our communities. Now, this has a lot of benefit for my students. And the reason why this is so beneficial is because the state offers 100% tuition if you are in the North Carolina National Guard. Now, that's drastically higher than you will hear from any of the other reserve components because they offer up to $4,500. Ours is 100%. So, with the state, you receive 100% tuition to any state or public school that you attend in North Carolina. Now, I hire a lot of students that say, hey, I would like to go to Florida State University. I would like to go to Ohio. And that's fine. You can actually do that. And we have the ability to transfer you to any of our states within the 54 states. The question should be, where's the other four coming from? Well, that's gonna include Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and, and a couple of other states that we won't get into right now. But either way, the state pays 100% tuition if you are in the North Carolina National Guard. Now, the one thing is, is that if you transfer, some states don't actually offer that. For instance, South Carolina is lower than the 100%. So we are very blessed to be in a state where they are supporting our soldiers as well as they are. Now, the federal government also has a benefit for you. And at a very minimum, they are gonna give you $392 tax-free for you to attend college. So if you're attending college full-time, then you will get $392 tax-free directly to you. Now, in addition, you're gonna have state benefits. Some of these include job preference. So if you might be interested in working for the state, you actually get job preference for the state. Also, we have additional life insurance, health insurance, and several other different benefits that are included with the state of North Carolina. As far as the federal goes, the federal also will give you job preference. So you could work for the state or federal government and get the 10 points higher than anybody else that applies. So that's just a bit of what's offered. Now, we give a test called the ASVAB. The ASVAB is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, and it covers 10 different sections. If you can score a 50 on this test, then you're qualified for extra incentives. Those include $350 extra each month to go to school. That means that you'll get the $392 plus your $350. You also qualify for a $20,000 bonus. Now it is tax, so you have to remember that and it's split up, but it is still $20,000. Not all jobs have that bonus, so you have to speak with me and figure out what the list is that month. But either way, you get 
not only the $392, but you also get the extra $350, the $20,000 bonus, and you get a benefit called College First. North Carolina National Guard is very concerned about your education and in support of that, they will stabilize you for a minimum of two years. That means you can't be called up for any hurricanes or natural disasters or federal activation. Now, let's talk a little bit about the timeline because this surprises a lot of people. The first step, of course, is paperwork and there's no way we can get around that, but I make it as easy as possible. <laughs> I actually start hiring when people are high school juniors that are 17 years old. So at 17, you can actually be a soldier in the North Carolina National Guard. And whether you guys realize it or not, I have students in every single high school that are in the military currently, that get paid by the military currently, and have already been to basic combat training. So North Henderson, West Henderson, East Henderson, Hendersonville High School, and Brevard all have my soldiers in them. So you can start as a high school junior. This is very unique because that's not true of the other branches necessarily. What you do from there is a program called RSP. Now this I think is awesome. I used to be a drill sergeant and my job in RSP is to bring my soldiers together, whether they're in high school, graduated high school, or currently in college, and I train them up for basic training. Now this is a huge benefit because not only are you getting training ahead of time, but you're also getting paid for that training. You're getting paid $200 for literally 16 hours worth of work. And let's be frank, if you call repelling, land navigation, and survival skills work, well, then that's what we're doing. So you get paid a minimum of $200 every month for working one Saturday and one Sunday. Now, in between your high school junior and high school senior year, so here's summer break, you will go to basic training. We call this BCT. Basic combat training, whether you decide to be a chaplain, an infantryman, or an engineer, regardless of your training, you're going to go to basic combat training. It is 10 weeks. You will get a minimum of $4,400, and we're going to teach you all the skills that you need to know. Now, there's a lot of growth here and it's not necessarily easy, but I train up all of my people ahead of time, and I've had nobody fail basic combat training in the last two years. So, you get paid $4,000, well, $4,400 for that training, and you have no expenses while you're there. The benefit that most of my soldiers use is that they take this money and they put it down on a vehicle after they get back. Now, once you've graduated basic training, you're going to come back for your senior year of high school. Now I get a lot of seniors as well, and you don't have to start as a high school junior, but you can start as a high school junior and it does work out better for your college timeline, but you can also start as a high school senior. After you graduate your high school senior year, then you're going to go to job training. Now you get to, you get to pick out your job, you get to pick out the location of your job. And we have over a hundred different jobs, which we'll talk about a few here in just a minute. The benefit of basic training and job training is that all of these are worth college credit. And that college credit can be applied to whatever university that you decide to attend. So your job training is gonna vary in length and it can go anywhere from four weeks to even longer, depending on the skills that you need to know whether it's aviation, medical, truck driving, it all varies. So after you're done with job training, you get to come home. And this is where you're gonna start your college. So you're gonna start your college and it can be a two year, it can be a four year, or it can be a certification. And while you're in college, you will go one Saturday and one Sunday a month to training and two weeks in the summer. Now, if you're going to go to a four-year university, you have the option of attending an ROTC program. The ROTC program takes the place of officer candidate school. So if you're currently enrolled in junior ROTC, JROTC, then you can attend ROTC in college. The benefit of doing this with the National Guard is that not only are you getting the extra money each month, but JROTC also gives you extra money. And we have other scholarships that are available to our ROTC cadets. Now, once you're done with college, 
you have several different options. If you've completed a four year degree, you can transfer to active duty as an officer, or you can stay with the North Carolina National Guard as an officer, or you can finish out your time and, and transfer into something else if you'd like. But this is from start to finish what the timeline looks like. Now you don't have to be a high school junior, you don't have to be a high school senior. In fact, I actually get quite a few teachers. And the reason we do is because we have a $50,000 student loan repayment program. So you can start this process at any time. We're gonna talk about a couple of different job options that we have. Like I said, we have over a hundred different jobs, but we're gonna talk about a couple of the main ones that our soldiers tend to pick around Hendersonville, North Carolina. Okay, so let's go over a couple of the different jobs. One of the jobs that we have in Hendersonville, technically it's East Flat Rock, is military police. And behind me, what you see is one of our vehicles for the military police. Now in this unit, we have military police, we have mechanics, we have cooks, we have supply, we have all types of different things that help the overall mission. Our mission in the 210th Military Police Company is to make sure that we're providing support for any emergencies or natural disasters. We also help with any situation that it might be an active shooter situation and we train a lot with the different police departments as well as SWAT. Behind me what you see is their vehicle. This is one of the vehicles that we use to be able to accomplish that mission. So what you're seeing now is one of our vehicles, specifically the inside of one of our vehicles. And in here, you would generally have a driver, a truck commander called a TC and of course a gunner. And Something else that you might see a lot of, especially when you're out on the freeway, are the big trucks like you see behind me. These are driven by people that are called 88 Mikes. And 88 Mikes specialize in anything that essentially that has wheels and even some stuff that doesn't and they operate all types of different equipment. This is an example of one of the vehicles that they would drive. Now, for a lot of people, 88 mics are used because they actually get a CDL. Not only do you get your CDL, but in addition, there's actually a program called the Army Cool Program, and that pays for any additional certifications that you might wanna have, like a hazmat certification or anything else. That is in addition to the other 100% tuition that we have all different types of mechanics. It can be diesel mechanics, it can be track mechanics, aviation mechanics, unmanned aircraft mechanics, and even generator mechanics. So what you're seeing behind me now is a generator. And these generators, of course, are used for different types of things, but especially when we have natural disasters. And maintaining these is very important. So one of the things that we do is have specific now, this might not be for everyone, but one of the things that the North Carolina National Guard has is combat units. Not all reserve components have that. The North Carolina National Guard has infantry units and field artillery units, and some of the weapons that they would use would include the M4, M16, 240, 50 cal, and many others. Now, our field artillery shoot large pieces of equipment they actually shoot 100 pound rounds. So this is an example, although imagine a much bigger round than the one that I'm holding currently. Now, I didn't feel like it would be fair to pass by my soldier's wall without showing you. These are pictures of my soldiers, both before and after training. Now, as a recruiter, I don't actually ever go out of the picture. In fact, I'll be there to help support you throughout your career. And these are just examples of my soldiers that have gone through training. Many of these I started with as high school juniors that are now currently in Appalachian State University. I wanna thank you and your teacher for taking the time out to hear about some of the National Guard's college benefits and career opportunities. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can find me on Instagram at Kimball underscore Nicole, on Facebook at Henderson Transylvania Polk County Recruiter, I didn't make that one up, or you can reach out to me directly on my cell phone by text or call. My number is 828-243-6987. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have about anything, really. And as always, please stay safe.